Morning girls, how are we doing? We are back with Glitter and Lasers and this is I Walked Two Miles for a Bagel NYC Travel Vlog. And I'm not going to lie, I'm actually a little bit excited for this. Um, I've been to New York before, I plan to go again. Um, I actually kind of like the city. It's one of those weird ones where you're coming from like Ireland, which is obviously very small. And I think our tallest building is like, I don't know, 10 stories or something like that. So it is kind of weird when you're just like driving towards a city and the city just keeps getting bigger in front of you. So that was kind of my first real experience that I remember with like, a mega city, you know, it was really cool. Um, and also, it's a travel vlog that's not on a boat, and the last three have been, and they're very repetitive because it's just her lounging around in a bikini. And I don't know, she might do that in New York, I'm assuming probably not. Um, but I'm actually kind of excited this one could be interesting. I think this one was done before her like surgery and everything like that. Um, because I know she went, she got surgery, I think it was like some form of liposuction or something like that. I haven't really looked into it. If you guys don't know overly well, I generally don't care about the girls that much. I just kind of tune in every once in a while. Um, but I'm just curious, so let's get going. Oh, so beautiful. I've got two things. Two things to support me. The first... I hope sun cream, because it looks a wee bit, it looks a wee bit sunny there, and you look a wee bit red already there, kid. Sweet ass compression socks. Sandwiches. The second, the <laughs> dog that really also would like a bagel. So Let's see the dog. Bagel buddies. Give me the dog. We pursue our journey together, and uh, <laughs> those guys' face. Um, he keeps plastic over his mouth. Real talk. The compression socks are not that sexy, but wow, they're really not like at all. But like, I don't know. Show me your full outfit. Like, I can't really judge the socks on their own. Like, I don't know. Maybe you're wearing something tasteful, like some nice black shorts with my I don't know I really don't know I'm trying to help her here I think if she had picked like black trainers would that have been better or worse would that make them stand out even more or just make it look like she's wearing like a trainer sock <laughs> I'm trying to convince myself oh, what They're are you stylish. wearing underneath though what are you, you just think? wearing lycra are these super cool or just you know not so great they're striped I need They're to see striped. everything so we started our journey at the west oh my god she actually had to take her cameraman out with her does she keep this guy in a cage <laughs> does the dog have like free run at the house but she keeps John specifically in a kid. Why do you need John to come out with you? Like, you know, this is the whole thing with her. If she keeps trying to say like she's like an inspiration and she's such a warrior and everything like that, why do you need a cameraman? Why do you need like basically like a carer following you around to film you? Can you not hold the phone? In Grand Central, which is on 42nd Street, okay. either second or third. And we're going to Tompkins for bagels. I would kind of like us to get like a microphone that's a wee bit closer because I'm not really hit picking you up because New York is kind of a loud city. I like the structure in the background there. You can be walking and you can be pointing at structures to me and all, but right now you're just thinking about the bagel. <laughs> Tompkins Square, which okay. is several long bucks and many long bucks down. I should know the exact dress. I did not. You just take distances. Sure. Or part of the poor plan. I'm pretty sure you know like where you're going. It's like you're, you're going there, so you probably do know. Uh, she's not from New York, she's from Texas, from what people tell me. I don't want to say Texas. Texas. So, yeah. That's what that guy's really hoping someone doesn't come and, like, I don't know, clomp his bike or something. <laughs> like, guys, what are the rules here? But I Google back. Wow. What a woman. I'm going to say, I don't even think the socks look that bad. Like, like, like when, the, when those shorts are on, I don't think you look anywhere but there. Is that the dog she's walking with during the 5K thing? Because I thought she had like a bigger dog. I don't know why in my head. I have like a Rottweiler or something like that in my head. I didn't think like poodle. <laughs> Look at her go. She's a queen. This is for freaking forever. What is it? It's a good breakfast. It's a salad breakfast. And we're keep, right across from Grand Central. Keep looking here. Keep looking right over here. Because every time you turn away slightly, the audio totally dies which you know i don't know really lower your background music as well because it is kind of drawing you out i see a duncan i think i know why we're actually over here is it for a donut well, it's not about efficiency let's go inside <laughs> oh Here's it says really stop pretty. it was red and i'm like you know what we're here new yorkers are wild and i want to see it and i told myself i would do whatever the hell i wanted on this walk so oh, this what, is what a I brave wanted. woman it looks like the ceiling's unpainted. Like, is this like, is this the train station? Grand Central? Oh, it is. Uh, Grand I have seen this in movies. I've seen this in movies. I never went to it. I went to Port Authority instead. That's where the buses are, aren't they? Oh, it's a train station. Yeah. And it's old. And that's not all I know about Grand Central. Oh, it's Damn. pretty. And 
Godzilla crashed into it at one point. And I also think the X-Men had a fight in it. Maybe I think Storm was in it. Old. I should know more. Not a wow. story. Yep. We're learning so much on this show today. Let me look at this. The best part is the ceiling. Did you just say the best part is the ceiling? It's just not. I'm assuming she's filming like a TikTok or something like that. And I'm just going to say, I don't envy that phone. That must be a terrifying look. The ceiling's the worst part. I already pointed that out. Are we going to get to see what that looks like? No. It's really not. It's like, if it was like the Sithian Chapel or something like that. It'd be okay. I would understand. It'd be like kind of cool. You could see the, like the lovely paintings all above. But it's, it's like just kind of like a weird matte blue. <laughs> It doesn't look cool at all. Did she just fucking walk right? I don't want to. Did you just walk into that guy though? You just didn't even acknowledge him. That guy has some drip though. Do you see that pose? That is actual comedy. Everyone keeps saying they wish they had honest confidence. Look at that guy. That guy's going full wide arm spread and all. Okay, I'm back. Let's go. I don't know if this company's still around, but if you ever see. I feel it's actually like was genuine of her where she is just that impatient with everything. That's probably why she's also bad at dying. A truck like this and it's a big gay ice cream truck on the side. Say what? You should go. And you should get the B Arthur because that's freaking delicious. Man, I hope they survive the pandemic. <laughs> All of these just poor people who are just caught in the background. You just like never know. It's like, okay, just ex I don't know, just explain more about it because it's like, like I said, it's just her being quirky because that's her entire brand. She doesn't have depth. She doesn't have like personality. Anytime she tries to explore and have like depth and personality, it is generally just like repeatedly crying for a very little reason and then reminding you that she's the biggest victim who's ever existed. You aren't quirky. You just go, if you ever see a big gay ice cream truck, have a B. Arthur. Yeah. I, th I thought there was going to be a story from that. I thought you were going to say, you know, the owner. I thought you were going to talk about, like, oh, I remember the first time I had a B. Arthur or what a B. Arthur is or anything like that. It's such as, you just did. <laughs> as if, like, I don't know, it existing is the joke and it makes her interesting because she knows something exists. You turn to me and you describe me so accurately. They hype you up for 50 minutes and then they do, like, it's like watching your nephew dance in his bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. This... I, I want to say, because I'm a very, uh, you guys, guys probably realize by this point, I'm very suspicious of a lot of things, and I think a lot of things are staged, but the way he, like, the cameraman was, like, following this woman, and I'm assuming she's going to recognize Anna here. Yeah, look what I can do, but, like, on the street. No? Nope. Usually you'll get a crew that's... I'm totally wrong. Never mind. Write that off! It's like, really good. I was wondering, because that, 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 that girl, like, proper turned around. Like, where is she? She, like, proper turned around. She's like, what? I don't know, maybe she thought he was like John's a creeper. I have never seen John before, so I don't know what he looks like. But maybe John is like a proper creeper, and she thought that he was filming her. Maybe she's like a foot model, because she does have like size 17s going on down there. So, or maybe Anna actually does have filters on, because those feet, they're, a, they're, they're long for how dainty she is. She looks like Pingu. Do, but like on the street. Now it's usually like, like really good. But most of the time, that's, that's not the case. I've, I've really noticed something. I haven't New listened to Anna at all. All data, data wants to read. Oh. You love an educated kid. Then let's Actually, go. I did not come here often when I lived here because... She really looked like... For, for someone who apparently did a 5K, not overly long ago, she really struggled with those steps. Like, really, genuinely struggled with those steps. Even her walking seems pretty... Like, and I, I realize that she is saying that the... Uh, surgery is because she's had increased pain due to her lipedema and everything like that. And this does kind of support it. Admittedly, like I said, I'm a very suspicious guy. It could be put on to try and make dum dums like me think that. But like, I, I kind of, I kind of buy it. She does seem to be in pain the way she's walking. I would, I would believe. I think I've, I've had a sore leg recently. I, I know what the feeling is. Like, so I, I think she's being kind of genuine here. Prior to like recent times, it was very difficult to get a card here. Okay. You had to live in the city. Like yeah, well, yeah. Brooklyn that or makes Queens. sense. You couldn't get a card here. Now anybody can get a card here. And part of the reason they're doing that. Can I get a card there? I don't think anyone can get a card there. Like, when you're talking about the library, I think the first thing you should say is, like, do you read? You know? Like, do, what, what was your history with it? Have you got a card there? Have you gone there? Have you rented anything? What was the first thing you rented from there? She just kind of points out things and then doesn't really have 
anything to say about them that's personal, you know? It's all very shallow, I wikipedia this one day kind of information. That's why I say she has, like, very little personality. Her personality is very forced. It's very, look at me, I'm deliberately quirky. You should be able to show me a little bit about yourself and actually make yourself endearing to me. Because, I don't know, maybe I'm a heartless bastard, like, but just crying occasionally does not endear me to you. And again, this is not the top of my mind, so I might be wrong. But I believe, uh -huh. believe it so people can have access to books that are banned in schools. Okay. Well, let me double pack check that and we'll put some tax if I'm wrong. Per their website, if you are 13 or older and live, work, attend school, or pay property tax in New York State, you can apply for a free library card. That was I was I thought you were gonna answer the question on the why they're giving everyone an opportunity. Um, I guess yeah, that all makes sense. I mean, none of that seems even like odd. Like, yeah, I would assume this would make sense, you know? Wrong? But I believe they've opened it up to like any student. Okay. It's kind of dope. It's not. Like, Look what I can do. Damn. Look what I can do. <laughs> Who's gonna give me money? Just speed up. Just get away from her. Dude, you'll be fine. Now what? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta hydrate. Yep. Obviously. Does she have a TikTok bowl? Really? Like really? Also, how hot is it? Because like. Put on very sheer feet, like so. I'm kind of curious, like how hot the grind is, because it does look pretty warm. Like I don't know, I don't really like walking um, like goobs when it's like you know really hot. Like it's not rare, it's not common. We get like really hot days here, but like on this kind of grind, you really shouldn't be walking your dog. It's really hot. You know what else I do too? I'm just gonna do it because I think it's gonna help him. Yeah. Cool him down. Yeah. Sure, he appreciates it. Oh, keep you nice and cold. Yep. Yeah, like you do it all oh, oh, If you're at that point where you're like, I, I need to pour water on my dog to cool him down, I'm assuming that the grind must be pretty warm as well. Maybe between buildings, maybe in the shade, it's okay. But like, I don't know, walking on those areas of the grind, I don't, I wouldn't, I, I just wouldn't risk it. Took it all off on me. When we were getting water for Data, one of the vendors, Data? little kid, okay. Chris, who was an absolute angel of a child, came over, pet Data, filled his water bottle, bottle, do you realize how rude you are? You've literally just walked into the center of this footpath and stopped. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm kind of half listening to her in the background because a lot of what she's saying, like I said, is just not really interesting. But like, when someone comes up to me and says like, the son of a shop vendor nearby called Chris, and it's like, the fact that you said their name, I know you're saying their name because it kind of implants on most people. They go, oh, this must be a real story. I'm the opposite because it's like oversharing. It's too much information because like, why would why would you care about this random because why would you feel like the need to give it out online? Then we told them that I was putting water on top of data to keep him cool. He's like, I wanna help. So they started pouring water on Uh-huh. I don't know if I buy that. Like Chris. You wanna move? <laughs> like every literally everyone is walking is having to walk around you here. I was like, it's okay. And he was just like, I love your dog. And then when we walked, he was like, no. See, see, like I said, the whole thing of like I I feel this wasn't a real story, like whatsoever. As it gets like sillier and more just randomly goofy, so she can be more zany and more quirky, I'm like, ah, okay. I don't believe it. <laughs> I want to imagine this guy is doing this at them. It's like, are you just standing here filming me? Can you please mod? It's like, hey, I'm what working here. That's my New York impression. He really is. He's clearly, he's clearly doing it at them. He clearly was doing it at them. Yep. And I hope you see, see, when people think of America, they think of ridiculously big cars. Because look at this. You're in a city. What do you need this for? Get a dog. I know I'm going to have someone in the comment section being, ah, well, actually, there was a flood in 2021. So, ah, makes sense. D doesn't, but okay. <laughs> oh, doggy. Oh, dear. Dear New York, I'll never get over you. You literally ripped off a London bus. Disgusting. One thing I forgot. It was a nice city, yeah. Really funny is Chris was like, why are you wearing those socks? Oh my God, Chris is a recurring character now. And Chris, so, for some reason, this child worked out she was wearing compression socks or something and asked why she's wearing them. Okay, Anna. God, could you, I don't know, could you just like find a personality and not like do some fan fiction writing here to create random people to step in and ask surrogate, like audience surrogate questions to you. And I didn't know what to say, so I said I'm sick. 
And I was just discussing it with John, and I was like, Why? that's such a terrible answer. Yes, been like, it would. Because I'm a superhero, and these sacks help me fight crime. Oh my god, she's so zany. Jason Statham, calm down over there. Oh my god, it's fantastic. It's like I said, it's, it's just a deliberate excuse to be like, look at Zany, I'm shitty to have a superhero. It's like, and you're just like, I'm wearing socks, kid, fuck off. That's what I should have said. But instead, I said, uh huh, because I'm sick, which is insane. Is John gone? Are you filming yourself? Yeah, I'm <laughs> oh, you can't see her. Potato guy, get out of the way. <laughs> look at that face. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so fun. The best part of this so far is just looking at random people in the background, just staring at Anna on the way past, being like, bro, what are, what are you doing? Maybe they sense the quirky aura from all the way down the street. Because it's like, I'm assuming in New York, it's probably not uncommon to see, firstly, people her size, and secondly, people being weird and talking to cameras. I'm assuming that's probably not overly weird. So it must be something special about her that's causing it. All right, back you come, Spud Bob, let's go. Could have given. If you can think of a better answer, I'd love to know it down below. But for today, if anybody asks me again, why are you wearing those socks? That's what I'm gonna say. This is my cringe. Hi, John, you're back. I don't need any of this, but there's a part of me that would just love a lot of well, we didn't. I didn't even know what you're looking. I thought you were looking at the statues. I thought you were looking at the statues in front of us. They're probably not for sale. What were you looking at? This really weird stuff in my house. Like what? Like this gold. Oh, well, thank God. Pink dog statue. Like, who doesn't need one of those in the house? Uh, me because it's ugly. Uh, I'm. I'm I. I don't know. Is there anything okay, here? So here's the thing that's I was really hoping to be able to have a look and see if there's anything I actually want there, but no, apparently not. Really good about it. And I'm hoping that they a lot of shoes. Because if not, if I walk out this way and they don't have it, I'm gonna be mad. But they rotate their crew cheeses a lot, so there's different flavors all over. There's a guy who came along there in an electric wheelchair and I was watching because he looked like he went out to overtake, but clearly because John's walking here because they're doing this like catwalk runway filming thing. Like he clearly can't overtake, and I saw just in the in the reflection. I could write a whole thing about He's just kind of sitting behind them, just kind of awkwardly waiting to pass. Do we do we really need to take up the entire walkway if you slowly walk in down there filming her. But there's one cream cheese. Salad, pasta. Oh, there's one cream cheese that's superior to all others and that's the Kalamata olive cream. Is it your thighs? <laughs> Sorry, she thought about cream cheese and I could only think of her thighs again. Duncan, is it not called Duncan Donuts anymore? Both times I've seen it, it said Duncan now, just where's, where's the donuts? Like, I know there's a spurked energy drink there. Like, but where's the donuts? And theirs in particular is... Spurked! And I love that on a nice pumpernickel day. Wow. <laughs> I'm an old man. I've heard of pumpernickel a lot. I'm... <laughs> I love it. I've heard of pumpernickel bagels before, but like I don't know anything about them. Like I just it's one of those things you just hear about by like cultural some ob osmosis. Just like you hear it in American shows, but that's all I know about it. At heart. So Ooh, what do we got here? Tortas, nachos, tamales, quesadilla fritas, chicken platter, beef platter, burritos, gordi gorditas? I've never even heard of that before. Pambazo, Mexicano, burger, taco. That is one of my favorite things about going like pretty much anywhere abroad is the variety of foods. <laughs> it is just a variety of foods because we're kind of limited here. Like we get some things, but we only really get the most popular things, you know? Like quesadilla. I think even a quesadilla over here is like, oh, fancy man tonight. You know, I've heard of tortas a lot, but I've never eaten one before. But like everyone talks about them like they're the nicest thing ever. So I'm really interested. Oh. Empanadas. Sorry, I forgot about empanadas as well. You can get that combo in other places, but it's just not as good. Okay, cool. It's just not as good. I wasn't listening to you at all there. Korean town, yay! Did I go to Korea town? No, I went China town. I was trying to remember. Oh, what are we getting? Place I've always wanted to go to. That Fluffy. What the hell the name is that? Fluffy Al Algodon. Fluffy Algodon. I'm just because I was not expecting that name in Korea town. Was here. I didn't know it was, but then I saw it. Fine. Close for the day. But Sorry, no more orders. Just opening for the day, so we can go. So we've been here. Like, uh, what time? What? Yeah, what time of day is it? You haven't really told me yet. 30, 40 minutes, and it's still not up and running. Um, and their artist is running late, and I have a limited amount of capacity for. This kid trying to creep in a shot. 
this feels very entitled. Like, I was really hoping to get this. I oh, know, but thankfully they're opening. Ugh, I've been studying here for 40 minutes. It's like, okay. Do you know what? Like, firstly, you're just kind of just randomly dumping on this random guy's business. Like, very nice of you. Like, using your 2 million subscribers to randomly just dump on this guy. How about, like, you just leave? You know? Like, I don't know. I watch other travel vloggers, and they might show up something, and then they'll cut to them being like, oh, no, I went there, and unfortunately, they said I couldn't film inside. So, I went in, and I had a few things. I took a couple of pictures for you guys. They don't stand at the gate by the security guard, like, filming something, going, oh, I'm not allowed in here, apparently. Like, they don't do that, because that's just kind of rude and like passive aggressive like this guy might hear you sitting complaining to your cameraman Danny walking today and i really want that bagel so we might have to abandon this side quest why don't you go get the bagel and then come back because it's like not that far you literally say you walk two miles it's not it is in a city especially it's not hard to walk two miles why don't you walk and get the bagel and come back because this looks like it this looks like a dessert maybe have this for the dessert after the bagel and a little bumped but, uh, I don't know, maybe if you talk any louder, you'll be able to guilt trip him into doing whatever you want him to do. Bro, you're just sitting at the front complaining whilst this guy's just standing there listening to you complaining about his store. You're so rude. It's okay. I'd rather have the bagel than this anyway. Oh my, she is so rude. Oh my, you're such a Karen. Well, I mean, you don't like turn the camera around and tell him, like, yeah, give me your name. I want to speak to your manager. What's the number for corporate? You're standing in front of the guy. Oh, I, I'd prefer bagels to this anyway. I don't even want this anymore. I'm very busy, guys. Jesus. Remember, this is the woman who tries to just pretend that she is the most positive, happy-go-lucky person in the entire world. And she's just sitting here just shitting on this guy. It's funny, right? As I gave up hope, the uh, artist showed up. Wow. Now we got to wait like 10 minutes for the artist to make... Oh the my creation. God. So, I'll be honest. What, do you know what? Maybe you should go and look for some Xanax nearby. A, a nice healthy chill pill. Bro. What? Just wow. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Why would you include this? Why would you go home afterwards and be like, ah, this is a good look. Do you know what you should have done? If the, Especially if the guy did show up in time. Cut out the middle segment. Because you look awful. You look like a terrible person for that middle segment. So you just have the, oh, I've shown up. Oh, it's actually not even open yet. And then cut to this bit. That would be so much better a look. I'm impatient and I'm tired of waiting. So this better be good. Oh my God. I've never had any of these big con cut. That is really cool. Ah. Oh! <laughs> Oh, that is so cool. She's literally turning and gloating to these children. She's like, hi, everyone, you don't. It is incredibly cute. That is actually so, so cool. I've never seen one of these before. I was thinking it was going to be like, because I know in Harajuku in, in Tokyo, there's like a place you can get like a mega, it's like as big as your torso, like cotton candy. It's like rainbow stripes and stuff like that. Through. I thought it was going to be that. I didn't think it was going to be this. When they said artist, the right. That's really cool. Oh, no. That's so mean. It tastes like cotton candy. Wow, you're just so unenthused. <laughs> it tastes like cotton candy. <laughs> I that helping the diet there, kid. Um, it's it's nice, but it's one of those things that's like too nice. You wouldn't really want to eat it, would you? Really cool cotton candy. Okay. Yep. Get the hot rocks. Cause that's cotton candy on another level. It looks pretty nice, yeah. Mm. I just looked down. Get the hot. How did you do that? Literally, the only way you could have done that is if you hit yourself with it. Because cotton candy doesn't really fall. You know, it's very sticky. It sticks to your fingers. It sticks to your mouth. It doesn't, it's not like it's going to fall from your mouth onto yourself. So you clearly just hit yourself in the tits with that. Mm. I just looked down. Did John not warn you? John had one job. I hope you were worth it. You might. So... Annoying. Okay, so this has gotten worse. So I have an idea. Oh no. What's happening with this? And since I cut all the tags out. Oh no! This is a PG 13 stream, ma'am. This is I, what you learn as a mess. I feel like I need to. <laughs> this guy's like, oh my god. I kind of. Is she stripping? Should I just turn now and just head the other direction? Because I don't want any of this in my life. In person? 
Yeah. How will they know? <laughs> well, I can see the seams. That's how I would know. But like, whatever, pop off. That's the that's the bachelor move right there. Let's go. Let's still keep going. That's a building. Broadway. Is this Central Park? I don't think so. It looks a bit small. <laughs> we, we took a little break because my feet were hurting. Aww. And I made the tough call that this walk meant that I couldn't go to a Broadway show because I'm going to crash real hard after this. This was really hard. Yeah. Which is like super embarrassing to say because like literally a month ago I ran a 5K. Whoops. Brain fog. It was three months ago. When was the 3K? Like I actually can't remember. But the problem is like I'm kind of all over the place when she films things and when she actually decides to like upload things um but at the same time she is just kind of she's apparently stood for 50 minutes outside that like uh, cotton candy place that probably would tire her out at least but um part of going off all my anti-inflammatories and not being able to take advil and uh -huh. my body just rebelling against life oh god <laughs> is, is this is a lot more sick. Oh, she's so brave because even though she's saying something very negative, she still laughed afterwards. She's so brave. What a role model. And a lot slower pace, and I hate it. I absolutely hate it. What the know. hell's going on back here? A break, but now we have. There's some kid just flew into a handstand and got caught by two strange men. To get moving because the bagel place closes. What's happening over there? And we still have about a half mile to walk, so we're gonna go. What are you guys doing back there? I came here to do it. If I walked all that way. Yes, I know you want a bagel. Shut up. Go get a bagel. I'm more interested in these guys behind you. No bagel. I'd be so pissed. Wow. And I'm already mad at my body. I don't need to be doubly mad at myself for poor decision making. So, off we go. What was your, what was your poor decision making? Going to get a bagel? Why would that be poor decision making? Uh, you hardly would be able to guess if it was close or not. Doggy, doggy, oof. Doggy, oof. Doggy, oof. Doggy, doggy, oof. That's the portal! I remember that. That was to Dublin. And then, I think people on the Dublin side were a bit... Bit naughty at times, because <laughs> I think it was in Dublin. It was in like some kind of back end kind of area, and there's some areas in Dublin that are just genuinely terrible. So for like America, it was like I think morning time, and for like people in Dublin, they were like stumbling home drunk still, like showing their arms or something. Can't see it. It says Portal is asleep, but we back up at eight a.m. So do you, I wonder. Back up at 8 a.m. I wonder if they did that deliberately. I wonder if they shut it off at certain times so it was only active daytime to daytime. So it wasn't because I, I I'd heard about it because obviously it's over here. Like, but I had heard that um that was one of the concerns. So I guess they must have done that. Do they j just have it on daytime to daytime so you don't get any drunk Dubliners? I guess I can't flash the portal. Oh, thank God. Hello. Oh my God. We got roller skates. Guess where we click it on? Bagel shop? <laughs> that guy in that window was like, out of everywhere you could have chose to stand to do that, why did you do that in front of me? I didn't want to say any of that. Let's go. Yeah, I want to see I the really bagels. Idea. I don't know if it was a good idea now. Bro, I'm just, you, you literally walked seemingly a very short distance, like what, two miles. Maybe, maybe I'm giving you two miles, maybe at best. It's just, it's it's two miles. Like you said, you had a 5K. It's 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 two miles. We've gone backwards in the health journey. And I realize that's because she's just stopped taking medication and all that kind of stuff. But like, don't act like this is such a big deal and keep like repeatedly telling me it's such a big deal because it, it's not. And I know it's not. And you should know that it's not. That's where I'm at. If you do a 5K, the next video well, should be I'm a 10K. I'm doubly down. Wow, that's a good idea. Okay, Tompkins Square Square Bagels. I wonder if it's like just because it's in a square or if it is a square bagel. Because if not, that's weird. Let's see it. Don't have calamata cream cheese. Oh. It's okay. I'm just gonna have to branch out and try something new. Yeah. Now that I have the bagel in hand, I just I just want to be home. <laughs> I want to eat my bagel in bed in peace. So we're gonna get a cab. We're gonna go to the hotel, and then I'm gonna put my feet up and eat my bagel like oh. the queen I am. No, like seriously. Why don't you just like, I don't know, go chill in a park, a nice park, because it seems like a nice day, and have your bagel there, and then gather your strength back, and then walk back, you know, wouldn't that be like, good for you, especially when you're on a health and fitness kick? I earned this, and I wanted to devour it in the sanctity of my hotel room. I earned just this. I my Apple Watch, and this two mile walk, what I thought was a two mile walk, became a three mile walk. Wow. Which is fine. Normally that would be fine, but right now, I'm fragile. <laughs> so oh, this really. was at one when we left, and now it's at four points. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm glad you're showing me this. After, not like before, because like be, you'd be good if you show me like a before and after. Just suddenly showing me it. Well, it, trust me, guys, it was one beforehand. I was like, 
Okay. And also just saying, just because it's three miles instead of two, it's still not really that much more impressive. Seven. So 3.27 miles is what we cleared to come down. Wow, so it's exactly day. one. Okay. That's why I'm exhausted. It's getting bigger every time she talks about it. I immediately put on my pajamas and I was so excited to open my bagel and I'm like... You got like home? Like home or a hotel? Home or hotel? Because I thought you lived in Texas. I can't wait to eat my pumpernickel bagel because it's my favorite thing. Like pumpernickel. Okay. Like I'm an old man. I get heart, it. And you know what? If she does a storyline where it's like, it wasn't, they didn't give me a pumpernickel, they give me rye. If they, if she does something like that, it's, it, it's just too fake. It's not pumpernickel. I was right. Oh my God. I'm so they good. They messed it up. Is it rye? It's not even the right bagel. You literally would have seen them making it there in front of you. Stop it. This is so, so fake. In my opinion, she probably got two. She probably got the one she wanted and she got a second one because even she said herself she's going to branch out. Even she said herself she's going to get two of them. Like, the second there was an issue, I could immediately get, I knew what was going to come because it is just so obvious. All of these people have so little going on in their lives. Pretending they got the wrong bagel is like a dramatic twist. It, it's not even the right cream cheese. You said they didn't have the cream cheese that you wanted, so obviously it's not. See, that's extra suspicious, because like I said, she went in, she suddenly was like, oh, we don't have the cream cheese to so try and be even more dramatic. But now she's home, it's like, oh, but they didn't give me the right cream cheese. It's like, but you already knew that they didn't have the right cream cheese, so. It's oat. Okay. It's an oat bagel with, I'm not exactly sure. I think it's veggie cream cheese. Okay. So like. Somebody else probably has my order. This is probably somebody else's bagel. Wow. Well. So cringe. What a way to end this video. It's so fake. Is she gonna cry? A lot. Two damn miles. Three damn miles. In pain. Three point. Oh my god, she's actually trying to cry. I even mentioned it earlier on. The only way she tries to find depth in her character is to pretend to cry. First bagel. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even get the right thing. But then send John out. He's an able bodied person, apparently. He could walk that distance in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Not a couple of minutes, but you know. <laughs> He'll be back in less than 45 minutes. Calm down. <laughs> I don't think you guys know how hard that was for me. Oh my god. This is embarrassing. And I'm like, I don't know whether to cry or laugh because. I don't know. Maybe you should leave the apartment again and go and round me. Just tell off that guy at the Koreatown event again. Maybe you should go and tell him off again. Maybe that'll make you feel a little bit better. Oh my god. I'm sure they have Uber Eats. <laughs> Calm down. Sometimes you just can't win. Sometimes you just can't win. Oh my god. This is humiliating. Well, I walked two miles for a bagel and. This is why I can never be a vlogger. When like Chantel says things like, why don't you go out and be a vlogger? I have pride. I have I have pride. It's what it's probably one of the reasons why I'm like a bad reaction channel. It's because another rea other reaction channels might like go like, oh my god, and they might act like everything that's happening is real on screen. I go like, oh, this is fake. You know? I don't try and pretend things are real. Even if like pretending they're real makes it like funnier to laugh at them, makes them seem like more of a lol cow. Like, it's why I can never be a, v a vlogger, like, especially this type of vlogger, where it's like, like, my dignity is worth more than however many views she got for this pathetic performance. I guess I didn't get it. Oh my god, Anna, I was really what? positive at the start of this. I out what this is. I'm afraid because I, I literally don't know what cream cheese it is, and I'm like, I'm, I don't want to try it on camera, I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, I don't. She literally just keeps licking it off her finger. You are trying it. You're actively trying it. What this person ordered that I got. So, um, I'm just gonna go. And She's literally licking it more off her finger. Literally trying it. Make peace with this. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And I hope wow. if you too are chasing a bagel, that you get it. That your luck is better than mine. What? I ordered. It oh my god! What? This morning because I I needed to have my bagel. I needed yeah. to have it. Is that pumpernickel? You know what? It's a happy ending to a one. Is that a is that a, is that a pumpernickel? It looks like chocolate. What, what is pumpernickel? About a girl who is pumpernickel pump pump pumpkin a, a nickel. <laughs> Walk two miles for her bagel. Huh? I don't even. I didn't get what was the what was the ending meant to be? Was it a fake bagel or something like that? Because like nothing came off. It looked like. That was really because I was actually kind of enjoying it at the start. It was kind of like, oh, it's interesting to see. She's kind of wandering around, it's a bit weird and funny and silly and everything in cap, but whatever, fine. 
But then, like, the Karen moment in the middle of it was really, really off-putting for Anna as a person. And then the very fake ending at the end where you're like, oh, yep. Oh, she's trying to cry now. She's trying to, she's trying to, for, for no apparent reason, stick crying into this travel vlog again, just like she does with every other travel vlog. It's like, no wonder people dislike you so much. Because you try and fake being so positive, but you're such a negative person and you're such a moan. Uh, but that's going to be it, guys. Have a good one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.